Hey guys! Hi. Hi. Let's just. Yes, there how are you? Doing well. How are you? Good. Hey. I'm gonna move you over here. So you're there. You go. Perfect. I haven't washed my hair in three days, so I don't want to be the big image. <laughs> uh, thank how you. How have you done today? Uh, this will be our third. Okay. Are you tired yet or no? You're still good. No, no we're good. Yeah, we're it's good. just stressful, like switching over right after we're done and like hoping that we're, uh, you know, on time for the next interview. You are good. <laughs> and we're going to get through this. So we'll get you to your next one on time too. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, for sure. So I'm Amy. We're at Alt 99.7 here in Columbia. And we have Michelle, Ryan, and Paul from Cannons. So excited to get to talk to you guys because we're huge supporters and huge fans of Fire for You. So uh, first, let's talk um, from the beginning. Just how did you guys know that, you know, meeting up and linking up that you guys were going to be a good band together? Or was it more of a test at first? And you're like, oh, you know, we're actually really dope. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. personally speaking, when I heard Michelle's vocals on our track, I, I kind of knew that we had something really special going on. And we didn't meet up yet then. Yeah, we so. didn't meet up for the first two tracks that we created together. Yeah. Oh, really? All email. Mm -hmm. And then we're like, this is, this sounds pretty good. Let's keep going. That's pretty impressive because I feel like that, like chemistry is so hard. And I was in a deep dive on your Spotify playlist yesterday um, because it's just like the perfect vibe music. As I sit at my desk and do like music logs or whatever, I'm like, oh my God, it's like hella chill. I dig this. Thank um, you. So it's cool that you guys just automatically naturally had that kind of chemistry and were able to work so well through email together. It was in the stars, honestly. I really mm -hmm. think it was. And, you know, playing shows and getting really good feedback from friends, fans, family uh, really kept us going. And we all just work so well together. And, like, I don't know. I'm, it is a magical combination. So for the kind of, like, your creative process, do you guys each take individual roles? Like, all you know, maybe I'll do lyrics and you do instrumental, you know, and then you do production? Or is it a, more of a team effort all the way across the board? It's a shared thing. I think we all take the mantle on different things for each song. Uh huh. Yeah, we all have like specialties, but then they all kind of blend. Yeah. Together at the same time. It'll it'll start blending uh, towards the end, like when we when we know that we have something special in a song, mm -hmm. and we all actually meet up together. That's when we really start. Uh, well, that's actually when we're all in the same room, really sharing ideas. So you have multiple EPs out. Your first one came out 2014, Up All Night. And then 2019, you have Shadows and you have multiple in between there. For, what is something that's important to you as far as creating and releasing your music? Because I know sometimes um, in any creative industry, you can get bogged down with you know making it perfect. Is it something that you're like, okay, as long as this song has this element, it's it's, you know, we're letting go of control and we're releasing it to the world. I think we have to meet in the middle because every time we finish a song, since we started, Ryan wants to post it that night. I just get excited. <laughs> get it out. Get it out. I, I want to take a hundred years and like perfect stuff, and yeah. and then I I feel like you're right in the middle with it. But yeah. the different I don't know energies make us just kind of compromise. As long as it's catchy, that's when we know it's uh -huh. it's, it's good though. Like, if it's something that sticks in our head for a long while, that's when we know okay, this is. Good it's really good, good complete. Mm -hmm. and so then you guys have uh, Fire For You gets picked up on um, Netflix, Never Have I Ever. And is it was that a song that was written specific for that show or that was something that they heard and they uh, they were like, we, we have to have this? Yeah, they we wrote it about a year beforehand and um, I guess they just found it and it fit perfectly to the scene, so. We actually just found yeah. out that they actually played the song during the scene. So oh yeah, to get them in the mood or yeah. something. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, uh -huh. before they even asked us to, to use the song, they were already playing it on the set. <laughs> it was like getting the actors and the actors in the mood, and then I guess that's then they went with it. <laughs> it's so fire for you. I mean, takes off. It's number one on Billboard's top TV songs for May 2020, and of course. The 2020 chaos has already started at that point. Was it weird to kind of be like so excited for something to have happened when all like this other stuff was going on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, definitely. Because the time that it uh, blew up, uh, the three of us kind of were jobless. That's true. <laughs> so it, it, it was at a really uh, great time for us. I mean, 
despite what the world is going through right now. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah, I'm sure it's like you, you want to be excited, but you're like, let's just not, not be overly excited in front of everybody else. For sure. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We did have that conversation. <laughs> so that's so on um, a lot of artists, you know, bucket list. What is something else for your band, for Canons, that is on your your band bucket list, your music bucket list? Hmm. Tour. Yeah, probably yeah. some okay. some major touring, um, mm -hmm. some festival shows, and keep on releasing some some hot material. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you been able to do any shows prior? Have you been like on the road at all? Um, unfortunately, no, we haven't. We okay. uh, we've been busy uh, filming a Fire for You music video. It should be out next, I think, Wednesday. Um, and other than that, we've we've been kind of doing a lot of these interviews and a few uh, live stream, you know, performances. performances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you guys found that while everything's kind of on hold, it gives you uh, a chance to catch up on some things, being able to record a music video. Have, has that affected your ability to create and produce music? Like, do you more often find inspiration in the real world and being able to live more of a normal life? Or has this kind of given you time to sit down and go, all right, let's spend the time we normally wouldn't have? Um, you know, I think we're all pretty introverted, so we're not really out in the real world a lot <laughs> anyway. Um, and we're we're one of those bands that's fortunate enough to write a lot of material and send it back and forth. So we're constantly working on new stuff. Mm -hmm. Dude, all of this stuff happened, and I'm the same way. I'm so homebody. I'm like, my life hasn't really changed at all. Yeah. <laughs> the the only so thing that changed is like, I wear basketball shorts a lot more now. I don't have to wear <laughs> pants as often. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've been in the building here, and I literally in the morning, I'm like, do not put on. I have these, like, N Nike joggers, like, crop joggers. And I'm like, do not wear these work. These are not work clothes. You're not allowed to wear them here. <laughs> as, as you look ahead and things start to open back up, is there any specific cities that you want to hit for tours? Like, what is your what is your dream festival, your dream tour to play? Mm, um, I, me, personally, I would love to get over to Europe and, and play, yeah. some, uh, play some shows over there. I think Australia would be great. Mm -hmm. If you need a band manager off the record, um, you can just steal me. It's like my dream to just get <laughs> stolen and like go on the road. So let me know. Okay, guys. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> but as we wrap up here, what are, what is what do you want people to know about Cannons, about you guys as a band? What kind, How do you want your music to be perceived? Is that important to you or do you want people to, to interpret it on their own? Um, I think a little bit of both. I think we get a lot of uh, questions on what the lyrics are, and it's it's kind of always been, in, in my case, you know, just kind of interpret it and let it help you out and guide you in your life with whatever you think those lyrics are. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, I think as far as a music kind of uh, outlook, we've always just kind of aimed to make it chill, make it groovy, make it danceable, uh, and really cinematic and uh, mm -hmm. just pretty. Well, what's nice, I think, is the way people consume music has changed drastically, right? Like, it's you have such greater access to music that you can, like I did yesterday, I can listen to all of your albums back to back to back. Uh, what do you think that, what do you guys do to, like, make your sound or make your music stand out? Are there things you're working on kind of behind the scenes to go, all right, let's get this push out, you know, that now that it's a level playing field and that nobody's really on tour and that nobody, you know, big names don't necessarily matter anymore, like mm -hmm. the well-known names. So as you guys get your music out and you get all this, uh, you know, success, what is something that you're like, all right, now that we have this, you know, we can kind of, we can kind of uh, showcase our style and our music more. Hmm. I don't think it's going to change really. Yeah. I feel like from the start, we kind of just stay in our own lane, right? And yeah. Just... I think we've created this Canon's world that we live in and we're, we're kind <laughs> of like, you know, we're in this tunnel vision of, what we do is kind of what you we know, love to yeah, do, it, and that's it, kind of. Yeah, for sure. Get too... The music we make is music that we want to listen to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Dude, I dig that. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this artist, uh, Burhana. He's got this song called Grey Love that is a dope song, and I was listening to um, a podcast. It's Rick Rubin's. Uh, mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't think of it right now, but um, Broken Record. And he was talking about that, like how being your authentic self and being able to be successful, being your authentic selves feels so much more rewarding. Is that where you're at with it? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I mean, it's difficult for me personally to like 
sometimes someone will be like, you guys should write a song like this. We just can't. And it's very like, difficult. It's just, we just do. It never feels right. It just kind of comes out naturally. Uh-huh. That's dope. Well, thank you guys. What's the dog's name? Puppy Chulo. <laughs> He's so chill and well behaved. Yeah, just for you. Yeah, he's been playing <laughs> show with you right now. Sometimes. <laughs> he knew. He knew I would flip. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much. We're so excited to have Fire for You on Alt here in Columbia. And I love to see the growth. And I'm so excited to see what else you guys do in the future. Thank awesome. you so much for having us. Yeah, thank thanks you. for having us. Bye, guys. Peace. See ya.